Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. You'll be able to see there the US 30 had a very turbulent day yesterday, dropping over 300 points, along with most of the global equity markets, as uh, a potential um, exit from the Eurozone of Greece began to take, take hold. And obviously, that crashing oil price has really put a lot of investors on edge as it dropped about 5.5% yesterday to trade below $50. That's worth Texas crude. So, as you can see, we're, we're hitting that 55 period SMA, which also consigns for that potential support at 17,546. Break and close below that opens up 17,361. You've got a crossover on the MACD and on the slow stochastic there as well. So, from a technical perspective, this certainly looks pretty ugly. It's a real horrible candle to have, but it is staying above that support level, at least in the short term. And I can see intraday most. Um, most global equity markets are slightly ticking up this morning, but nothing too extravagant. So jumping on to the UK 100, you can see there that we've got again quite a negative candle, again bouncing off potential support, trading below the moving averages. We got a crossover here in the MACD, and we didn't have the crossover quite close to that 70% level on the slow stochastic there, but it's just a little bit too um, close to the bottom right there. So not quite any over bought territory but quite close incidentally. So any break and close above, uh, below 64.15 would open up a move much lower at 60.73. So then moving on to Japan 225, uh, again trading below that 55 period SMA, looking at 16.392 as the next potential support level, uh, getting quite close to crossing the zero line on the MACD, uh, whereas most other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, dollar yen uh, has reversed course slightly, so there's been a lot of safe haven yen buying. Uh, briefly touched um, 1880, uh, 118 spot 80, um, which is quite a significant down downturn on dollar yen as people are looking for safe havens. Gold also had a big spike higher. So moving on to uh, dollar yen right there, you can see 118 um, or 119 was, was broken. It's trading above that just now on the wrong side of the 21 period SMA. Other technicals are neutral apart from the slow stochastic. That's almost that was almost overbought. Um, almost having that, that crossover right there, but certainly. Uh, there is a downtrend appearing on dollar yen on the intraday, a slight bounce this morning, uh, but it does seem to be that risk off is uh, is back on, uh, and uh, people are buying safe havens instead of buying, going long equities. So this is one of the, the core causes, crude oil West Texas, um, trading below 50, longer term potential support is all the way down at $35, still looking quite ugly, and moving into negative territory again today, for all reasons we've covered many times in these videos. So looking at gold, gold getting quite close to potential resistance at 1218 as potential resistance right there. Uh, all other technicals are pre pretty neutral with the MACD getting just taken above that zero line right there. Um, and as a safe haven, uh, and we have seen a little bit of reversal in, in the US dollar. Uh, there might be a little bit of juice left in gold as well. <laughs> Finishing up with GBP, USD and Euro dollar, you can see that if we switch on to the daily interval right there. Uh, to give us a, a better look at how things are going. We did touch 118.72 yesterday. We've had to try to rally up a little bit higher today, uh, but it's getting pushed right back down again. And then when looking at GBP USD, you can see it's been having a really torrid time the last couple of sessions. 148.13 is the next potential support level, quite a good bit away from there just now, uh, and still a lot further to, uh, to drop, but certainly the sterling under a lot of renewed pressure from the USD. So looking at uh, data that's due out today, we've already had a Chinese PMI come out. That was actually slightly better than expected. We've got a UK PMI and um, US PMI data due later on today, which will obviously have a big impact for, for cable and euro dollar. And if you fast forward on to Wednesday, we've got a Eurozone um, CPI, uh, which is going to be quite important as a measure of inflation. And then you've got ADP private payrolls, which will be the precursor to non-farm payrolls on Friday. Uh, and then obviously the trade balance as well. As ever, keep your eye on the chart for Make Insights part of your layer going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.